show. It'll take place at Badlands on Sunday, May 21st. Keep on rolling, baby. That's right. That'll be our next show. Get our mind side.
James Hartness not wasting any time getting this one kicked off. It is your different is good, dude. Where's my ring main event? A no ring death match between James Hartness and Jared Slate. This one is going to get crazy, Rafe. Oh, my God. God, just that rolling forearm straight to the face of Hartness from the motherfucking bit. Oh, what's that? Hartness is already packing. So they've both got stable guns. Eye to eye. Of course, Hartness. Oh, quick draw. Ten paces. Going to have ourselves a standoff here. Not the good, the bad, and the ugly here at Seasonal <laughs> Brewing. Except for they're all bad and they're all ugly. <laughs> Fair bump. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, oh, rude. How is it Slate's not wearing a shirt and he's not budging? Obviously, sure. you, can, you can actually see by the quality of the staple gun. See, James Hartness has clearly gone cheap. Whereas you can see that quality, that orange. Okay. You can tell that's a higher end, right. higher market so, item. Oh, you get what though. you pay for. <laughs> and he's going to pay for that. <laughs> Hartness land the forearms in. He pulled me up. I'm not calling him the king of the emos because I can't fucking stand emos. But I love James Hartness who right now, oh, just gotten stapled into the face. Oh, fuck, oh. I tell you what, those staples are all that he's got. If you don't know, that's a used reference. And here we go. There's another staple into I, his shoulder. I actually don't know that reference because I don't <laughs> listen to shit in my music. <laughs> that was purely for his benefit, and I'm sure it'll pop up this later. Oh, that fierce. I thought I, you were metal, Rafe. Uh, look, I have been, but I've also been to a few concerts recently. Fair but enough. I will say I do prefer the nickname East London Ultra Violence. James Hartness in his second ever death. Oh, oh. my God. Whipping that chair across the giant skull of Slate. Ooh. And again, we thought all the steel chairs were gone. Somebody went out in the break and bought another one. <laughs> yeah, there's a secret stash somewhere. Oh, it's seasonal. Hartness is applause. loving that. The thing is that you need to think about behind the scenes of this particular matchup, this No Ring Death Match main event. Jared Slate has been in hardcore matches for years. I've known Slate since pre-professional wrestling and he loves this hardcore stuff whereas James Hartness has wanted to get involved in deathmatch wrestling for a very long time this is about him building a legacy for himself and he's trying to do it at the expense of someone like Jared Slate who loves to get hardcore it's such a great tale that brings these two together and shows how willing they are to go above and beyond here if a dude wears my ring and put on an unstoppable show for all these mad people in attendance absolutely James Hartness trying for so long to get started. So many false starts. And it really comes down to the lot dispute between these two because of Slate being the veteran and Hartness literally trying to begin. And like you said, at the expense. Oh, no. He just went oh, lower back Slate. first through that oh. table. And Slate's just going to sit on him for a pin. But only a two count. I'm a massive Hartness fan. I've been by his side from day one. I love the guy. And it's just crazy what these two guys you just know are willing to do. We saw the main event of our very first Dude Where's My Ring show at Badlands. What these guys put each other through. It was absolute oh, oh. insanity. My God. Oh, goodness. Slate is not looking to be anybody's stepping stone in this match. He's looking to really plant his name in the ground as the top of Dude Where's My Ring and the top of Perth fucking hardcore. Well, he loves this stuff. Absolutely loves it. Things like this. Like, he's known for there are many years... Oh! oh goodness. Stolen milk crate whipped across his head. <laughs> for years within the realms of, uh, I guess, if you will, professional wrestling... Oh, no. This is going to be 10 times worse than a paper cut. Oh, my God. You sick fuck. Slate knows how to hurt people. He has studied the fine art for years and years. Like I was about to say, in the world of quote-unquote professional wrestling, Slate has brought hardcore flavor amongst it for such a... Oh, my God. That is a, God. That is a, gusset, a gusset plate cricket bat. Gusset plate cricket bat in some kind of novelty child style. Either that or it's full size and Jared Slate's All just I can that fucking say big. Is come on Aussie, come on. Oh, oh. 
No one home on that one. Oh my god. Hartness oh. taking the guzzle play. Oh, oh trying no. to trying to win the ashes. Oh. oh. And look, instant blood That's on the back of Jared Slate. Gusset play to no joke, especially when applied in that manner. I've seen them used oh, attached to two by fours, and this is the exact same effect. Oh my god, they look, you're butt. missing the crux of what's happening here. England and Australia have had a rivalry within cricket. <laughs> For such a long time, and now it is manifesting in deathmatch wrestling. Oh my god, you're hundred percent correct. I'm not a cricket fan, so I never would have drawn that comparison. I like sports. <laughs> uh, meanwhile, Hartness, what's he got there? Is it? Is he got another gusset plate? He may. Yep, and he's he's, he's licking it. Tonguing it. it. All right. Oh, oh, what in the? Was, was that, that hub cap? Hub cap? Probably off the Corolla that I saw parked outside. I drive a Corolla. Oh my god, no. I mean, I know Slate's from Rockingham, but turn it up, mate. To be fair, that was the last hubcap on the car, though, so yeah, it's look, not really that big. I do live in Mirabuka. <laughs> uh, the back of Jared Slate is a bloody mess. His head is gushing blood. This match has barely been going for a couple of minutes already, and oh, the gusset plate just stamped into the skull of the East London ultra-violence. Oh, James Once Hartness. a feeble English orphan, the Australian son repowering his weakened immune system, James Hartness has formed himself into a deathmatch machine. And I He's swear... He's now getting choked by barbed wire. He's on getting Easter more weekend. than he bargained for. Exactly. This is some unholy shit. This is on. Easter weekend. Jesus died for our sins and this is what's become of it. He's like, what the fuck oh. did I do? Oh my God. Kendo stick, the Sandman... I mean, oh, who knows what the hell these guys are going to have to do to each other to get a win, not only in a match like this, but on a show like this, and oh, goodness. Not the hubcap. Not the hubcap. Oh, just broke the hubcap with a kendo stick right in the crown jewels of East London. It's, it's even hurting Slate sympathetically, and he created that problem. Oh. He absolutely fucking loves it, though. That what is a brutal. Beast. The thing is, you can hit people with gusset plates. You can make people, you know, use staples and kendo sticks or whatever. You smash someone in the junk, it is going <laughs> to level them to a different degree. What I know this? that James Hartness goes for West Ham, but he just took a solid shot to the hammer right there. <laughs> Look at this seasonal brewing supplied can board. And you know what? Those uh, those beer cans, that was just what Joel Bateman had before the show tonight. <laughs> Slate is just From Joel in Bateman's blood. personal rider. <laughs> <laughs> the cut oh, can board. Oh, oh nice. a gusset. My goodness. Oh, what oh. a little mule kick to go along with it. Jared Slate is like an artist in this realm. He is relishing the opportunity to be able to unleash this kind of violence upon Western Australia. The Picasso of ultra violence, Jared Slate. He calls himself the motherfucking bear. Yeah, I can see why. I've been watching Jared Slate matches for years, and I didn't realize how big this man was until I fucking stood next to him. He's, He's an absolute weapon. A big, heavy hitting Southpaw who oh. loves to get dirty. Oh, the knee. Look oh. at the elevation. Like I said, the motherfucking bear's ready to get grizzly here. Lining up Hartness. Oh. There oh. is a table full oh. of cut in half beer cans. Oh, turning yeah. the tables, literally. You know, it ain't sanitary. You're going to get cut up and you're probably going to get tetanus. He's rocked. Oh, oh, look out. Oh, the oh. high suplex through that door, collapsing all the cans. All those cut in half cans. And oh, he kicks out. That was not enough. I thought the king of the emos was going to have Jared Slate done and dusted after just launching him back first into a bunch of just seven cans. I mean, ha what the hell? Joel Bateman's IPA in the wounds on your back is not going to feel nice. But but 
Hartness can't capitalise here. He's rocked. You can see it in his eyes. He's on Dream Street. He's trying to figure out a plan of attack. Oh, he's May- maybe, feebly maybe, throwing cans. Maybe the beer cans still have some alcohol in them, and it's given Jared Slate a little bit of liquid courage. I've gotten on the piss with both men, and they're a hell of a lot of fun to have a drink with. And you know they'll be having a few after this because oh, they are going hell for leather in this death match main event. Dude, where's my ring? Different, sure as hell is good here at Seasonal Brewing. I hope you're enjoying it as much as we are. Don't forget, follow us on the socials. You can't miss any more of this good shit. At DWMR underscore. Per- oh, the dirtiest player in the game. Yeah, because a poke through the eyes is too far in a match with <laughs> cut open beer cans and gusset plate cricket bats. There's certain tropes that you have to use. I get it. I get it. Oh, oh just throws him on his way. Bounces off the table. What is this door made out of? That seasonal brewing quality. Sure is. Jared Slate just took it straight off the bathroom wall. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Oh, that is innovation in brutality by the bear. Oh, look out. What's he going to do? He now? His head. Is a gush oh of blood and oh. sent on. <laughs> oh, the door couldn't withstand the bear, but can Hartness withstand the door? This is nuts. These <laughs> two are murdering each other. Will it be enough? This is it. It's a wrap. Oh, oh Hartness. Hartness! The purveyor of East London ultra violence gets the shoulder up. He is not done. The king of the emos still has fight left in him. They ask if he's okay, and he says he's okay. I doubt it, but he <laughs> says it anyway. These Trust guys, him. These guys have been through absolute hell here. That is a barbed wire-laden shopping trolley. Oh. I thought I... Glad I missed this one. I had to help dispose of a barbed wire ironing board, and that involved a lot of explaining to my strata. I'm not sure how I ever would have explained the barbed wire trolley. You're not allowed to steal trolleys, are you? You're not allowed to steal milk crates either, but look at this fucking room. Yeah, fair bump. <laughs> uh, that trolley is riddled with barbed wire, and I wouldn't put it past one of these guys to take the trolley pole out and go old school. Uh, oh, let's go. Just like back in Balga. Here we go. Well, Slate's from Rockingham, so they're just as dirty a fight as I'm sure. He's trying to, I think, powerbomb Hartness onto that trolley. Wait, Hartness gets out. Forearm struck right to the bloody face of Slate. Hartness is ready. He needs this victory for his legacy. He wants to get the win over Slate. It would mean so much. Now, I, I just got to say, the, the trolley's really got me stressed out. For those of you that know your deathmatch history, they know the danger of a shopping cart in a wrestling ring. Uh, there's been some serious fucking injuries happen when those bars break and pierce skin. Um, it can just completely shatter like a cage, you know? This is very stressful. Oh, oh, spine buster onto the barbed wire shopping trolley. Everybody thinks the barbed wire is the danger, but the actual shopping trolley itself. Oh. Only two. Slate. He kicked out. He's saying it ain't over. He's not done. Look at the look on both men's faces. Oh. They could not be more different. Oh, he's oh. biting him on the finger. Don't put it out there because you might not get it back. Hartness looks so defeated. Slate looks so determined. They know this ain't over. Hartness is thinking, what in God's name do I have to do to put this bear down? He's trying to look into his deathmatch playbook to think what he's seen, what he can do. It's different. Like, what can... Like, if Slate can withstand that, what, what can't he? Uh, your guess is as good as mine. That's why we're here doing the talking and they're there doing the fighting. What is... What does he have here? Okay, that's the oh. most tax I've ever seen on a chair. Now that is a chair with more thumbtacks than I can count to. And there is nothing but evil intentions for this. Oh, Ooh. miss. That's going to cost him. Oh, oh now Slade's got the chair. Oh, oh, ducks it. Oh, watch out. Oh, oh. catches it. Oh, oh dust boot Jesus. into the chair covered in tacks. Man. No oh joke. no! Oh no! Oh, curb oh. stop on the chair. He's gonna have thumbtacks stuck right into his face. Hartness is gonna think twice about bedazzling a chair in the future. 
It's a good idea to start off with, but when it gets turned against you, you sure as hell will regret it. Oh, I'm not sure the shopping cart has the integrity for this. Your guess is as good as mine. Martinus is getting up to meet him. He doesn't even know where he is. He's on Dream Street here. I don't think either of these men are thinking straight right now. They're just thinking of inflicting pain. There is a chair. Oh, not a pile oh, driver. A pile oh, driver onto, onto the, the, chair. the chair. Through the door. Through the milk crate. This is a wrap. Oh. That's it. Jared Slate gets a win. Motherfucking bear. What an amazing matchup by two absolute animals here at Seasonal Brewing. King of the Emos, James Harden has fought so well, but Jared Slate. That's two, another win chalked up for the Pulse as well. Mm. Both of them winning tonight. Slate, absolute animal. That he is. What an amazing main event. Our next show is going to take place on May 21st. We're going back to Badlands, believe it or not. They will Woo! have us back. And it is going to be keep on rolling. We're going to get new metal. We're going to party like it's 1999. That's what I like to hear. That's how I came up in this. I was business. going to say, you're going to get your dreadlocks back for it? Oh, I might get them surgically replanted. <laughs> I kept them in a jar all these years for just such an occasion. But we've got a new metal band playing all night. It is going to be awesome. I can't and we're going wait. to see these absolute psychopaths back in action. Dude, where's my ring? And I can't fucking wait to be back live at Badland. Absolutely awesome stuff. Big thank you to Seasonal Brewing for having us for this crazy, crazy show. They've been so awesome and they've made cocktails for us and the beer is great and the deathmatch wrestling was even better. I hope you've enjoyed this and I hope you come to our future shows because you never know what to expect because, of course, different is good. And Slate has something to say. Yeah, let's hear from the bear.
I said I had a list of people to work for in Death Match Wrestling. He was up there, he's up there, you're up there, Paris up there. So, third time's the charm. And there's no, no one higher on my list than the DMDU heavyweight death match champion of the world. Vincent, you big kaiju bitch. Get the fuck to Perth for May 21st. Cause I'm taking that fucking belt. Oh shit, I'm in trouble. Yeah, that's my company, motherfucker. You can have Vincent on May 21st. And because of the effort you put into my hands and the effort you put into my... Fuck it. It can be for the deathmatch down on the world. And you know what? I lost the bit of blood. I replaced it with IPA. I like making stupid decisions. You beat Vixen. You're a dream. Oh, there you have it. Not only is the Deathmatch Down Under Championship going to be on the line, but if Hartness can get the win, he'll be in the Dream Tournament. Oh, my God. See you Huge. Let's go, James Hartness. Thank you for joining us. May 21st is our next show. And trust me, you want to be there. If you can't be there because you don't live in Perth, Get your ass over here or catch it online. Dude, where's my ring? <laughs>